Hey Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is your January 21st to the 26th uh, Twin Flame Soulmate reading. What's going on with you guys? It is a general reading and we have opened up again the private readings now that the holidays are over. Um, just too busy during the holidays for everybody, really. So uh, the readings are listed below. You can click on the link and start the ball rolling that way. And uh, we'll correspond via email to get some detail from you. Okay. All right. So, Leo, what is going on? Ooh, come back here. There's another, there's a card that escaped. It escaped. All right. So, can't escape me. All right. So here we go. What's going on for my Leos? Uh, my wonderful fire signs. Okay. So, seven of pentacles. Uh, waiting. Patiently, very patiently, super annoying. <laughs> I find it super annoying. I don't know about you, but you're doing a good job. So let's see what's going on here. Weird. Okay. There's some stuff going on here. All right. So Leo, let me push this back just a hair. Um... You're kind of in the dark about something. There's some new energy that's going to blow through here, okay? Um, and even though there's some stuff that looks a little bit yucky, I feel like in the end there will be communication and things will work itself out. So, spoiler alert, things are going to work itself out. So, this is something you have put a lot of time in. A relationship that has... Um, this kind of reminds me, what was the one we just did? Aries, um, Leo. So fire signs are um, struggling right now. Saggies, um never struggle. <laughs> so <laughs> here's what's going on. So for you, there's this two of swords. You're like uh, ready to make a decision about something, but you're not seeing the whole picture. Okay, the moon card, everything is a little bit murky. So it's hard to make a decision if you don't really have all the facts or all the situation. You don't know what's going on. So you're feeling like a little bit like some of it is like you're willfully not willful blindness. You're willfully not seeing it. But in reality, there's stuff that you're really not seeing that you don't know about. So even though you might feel like, well, I'm kind of being, you know, a little bit like la 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 la, la about this. Um, there's really some stuff you don't know. There's really some stuff you don't know. And um, Ace of Wands shows up. There is some new passion, a spark. So in this situation that you're in, there's also new love down here. So you're getting this spark. You're feeling in the dark and it's almost like you light a candle. It's like, shh, and you light a candle, right? The person you're in this situation with, nine of pentacles, very confident. Um, definitely sees what's, definitely sees the bigger picture is somebody who is in more control of the situation. They might be an earth sign somebody who is grounded, a little more grounded, you guys, you, you know, air, fire signs, we need the fire, okay? <laughs> you got it. This person is um, cool with things being a little murky or doesn't really see that you're having trouble seeing, doesn't get why you're having trouble seeing, okay? They are contented, and happy. There's something here that is upsetting you that is not upsetting them. And then 10 of swords for them. Wow. Talk about going from one extreme to the other. You, you could be actually dealing with, um, cause no, no earth sign goes zero to 60 like this. Uh, it's more of a, a water sign or an air sign. Um, and of course, you know, it always could be another fire sign. You know that. But earth signs don't do this. They go from, they don't go from happy to like um, suicidal <laughs> overnight. 
They just don't. It's something about realizing they made a mistake. Realizing they made a mistake. They were just doing fine and they're like, oh. What's going on with you, Leo? Are the things that are hidden in your own life, are they hidden from you and you strike a match so you can see what's going on in your own self? They feel confident in their situation. But if you're struggling, then they feel like, oh, something really happened here. I got to move this. Um, we're going to get some clarification around that Ten of Swords because they seem happy with you to me. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups seems happy with you. And then this Ten of Swords happens. It's a misunderstanding, very big misunderstanding. Or the light, okay, you have illuminated something that has made them feel a lot less confident. You figured something out about the connection that makes them feel stabbed in the back. I mean, this card is literally stabbed in the front. Stabbed in the front. They saw you coming. So something you've uncovered here makes them feel insecure now, right? If you were feeling like you weren't really secure and they were and now you're feeling better and now they're not, okay? So it's like this weird energy going back and forth. So in the relationship, Ace of Cups. So there's love here. And it's just sort of like we need to get together to help each other. Look at you're helping each other through the snow. We need to get together and help each other and talk about this because it's a, it's like you went from feeling weird to feeling fine and they went from feeling fine to feeling weird. So there is this situation of let's help each other. Let's talk, communicate. Let's go see each other. We need to see each other. Okay. So, uh, Leo, we're going to get in the extended reading. We're going to see about, um, lessons you need to learn, things that need to be healed, and actions you can take in this situation. We're going to get some clarity around both this Ten of Swords and what is the moon here? What is, what is the thing that is hidden from you? We're going to get three messages from your partner here, your soulmate, about what's going on. And then we'll see how this plays out. We'll act, absolutely ask the universe for their uh, guidance for you. And then we'll ask Archangel Michael for his own particular brand of guidance. Okay. So click on the extended link and we will see you over there. Where's my cursor? <laughs>